It's Matt Horton from Phoenix 98 FM. We are backstage at Stand and Call in 2019. And this is what happened when I caught up with Koala. It's Phoenix 98 FM. We are doing Phoenix Summer Festivals. We're at Stand and Call in 2019. And I am currently joined by Koala. How are you guys doing? Hello. Good. Hello. Hello. How's your stand-up been so far? Uh, we got about an hour ago, so it's not, uh, yeah. not too... <laughs> don't know yet. Let's chuck it down the rain. <laughs> have you been outside or have you just like, been sat in here? We've been walking around outside, yeah, through the rain. Yeah. Um, and despite the rain, actually, I've enjoyed it so far. Yeah. The brief hour that we've spent. In. So, um, first question is for people that may not know you, and also people who do know you, how would you describe your sound? Because something I really like about you guys is you kind of play festivals like this, you kind of got a bit of a folky sound to you, yet you have the support from like Jack Saunders on the indie show, playing Reading and Leeds, you know. So, how would you kind of put into words like your sound? I think we're, ha we're happy to be able to not find it that easy to answer that I think I guess yeah. like, we kind of do it's kind of a weird mix of things it's kind of like I, I described it recently I've got asked something on the anime I said it's like all the worst parts of like indie folky afro beaty dancey like all the worst parts of that combined to make something really horrible so, yes. <laughs> so you kind of pride yourself on the fact that you can't be on it. put into a box yeah, and, yeah, yeah yeah I guess so just kind of you know trying to like we, we I think we, we haven't we didn't go into it and think oh we want to make this kind of music or anything like that we just kind of Started writing and the way it kind of developed just meant that it kind of sat in between a few different things, which is fun because that can go one of two ways: either you end up no one being interested, or you kind I of get to case, get yeah. to like do a, a range of stuff, which is yeah. exactly like Jack Saunders, and then you also get like a Radio Two play or something, and then like mm. do you know what I mean? It's like a weird mix. Right now. And uh, speaking of Reading Leeds, you've literally been moved to. Uh, you're opening the main stage for the entire weekend. Until we've landed that. How yeah, does that, how does that feel? Someone's Someone's I think it was you, you and Billie, Billie Eilish, I think, are the two acts that have moved. So yeah, you're in the I same mean... sort of category. <laughs> <laughs> how does that feel? It feels terrifying, but also exhilarating. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be the first time that we've really opened up a stage at a festival that like that big. It's definitely going to be some sort of experience. Whether it's going to be good or bad, <laughs> yeah. I can tell you. Yeah. yeah. Well, you say that, but I mean, surely you guys opening up things, you are you're pretty um, skilled at that. You've been opening up for a little guy called George Ezra, have you? Oh, you've heard George, yeah. Please tell me, everyone thinks he's the nicest man in pop. Is that true? I can confirm he yeah. is the nicest man I've ever met, potentially. Really? He's, he's a bully, he treated me <laughs> old. No, he's actually the nicest kid I've ever met. I'm like, he's like, I, I, I thought, I thought he was, I was, I was going to feel like we are in the presence of someone super famous. Mm. But like, within a second of meeting him, he was just like, chatting to us, we were getting on well. He's quite shy, but like, yeah. In a like, like a, it makes being backstage with him really easy. I stupidly announced at the final show, which is very loudly. I was like, "Oh, my, my best mate George, we're best friends now," and he could hear backstage. And then I went back there, and he kind of just like after that, he was just like, oh, "Who's this guy?" <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but how was that? Was that was it nerve wracking? Was it exciting? Was it? It was an incredible experience, uh, and I enjoyed every second of it. And it's a different. It's a, it's a funny thing, like. You know, we're used to playing to rooms of like 500, you know, suddenly Max, we're playing in front right. of 25,000 people. And I was quite impressed with myself, and I know yeah, you were too, to but getting on stage, you'd think you'd be more nervous. But that was a big thing. something just felt right about being yeah. there. Yeah. And, and playing with the vaccines as well. I mean, and it kind of, that again, yeah. lends itself to your sound, like they're the indiest of indie bands. George is like the that poppiest of pop, you know, and then there's kind of you're in the middle, it's crazy. But what the, what the vaccines as well, are they like nice guys? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so we were like, because obviously like, George and Ban, I get to call him George, do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, first name. Uh, yeah, first name basically. Um, Georgie boy, he, um, no, he, him, like, he would kind of mostly keep himself to himself because he's just chilling out for shows and stuff and he's been on the road for years, do you know what I mean? So like, then, but like with the vaccines, we got to spend a lot of time with him closely yeah. and a big koala the vaccines five a side football mm. match which was kind of mad who won we actually mixed up the teams and it ended up being a draw new single play it right mm -hmm. came out a couple of weeks ago now yeah uh, what's, uh, a week ago a week ago today what's the reaction been like it's been good yeah it wasn't necessarily the first song that we wanted to get out we've got so much music that we're super excited about it just so happened to be the first song that finished but despite that it's had like a really good reaction Again, it's one of those songs that we, I think we were building up to other songs. We were thinking about maybe putting that first, but we, it just like came together really quickly, and we're really like yeah, pretty proud of it. And like yeah, yeah. who makes that decision ultimately when you want to decide what single is going to be the first one, kind of from a new album cycle? Is it a collective? Is it kind of yeah? It's kind of a, it's, a, it's 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 a collaborative. I mean, so we 
not not like too long ago signed signed a record deal um, with where we like we were at an indie label before. We, we did the big big move to a major, which is kind of you we, virgin. Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah. So we like did a we kind of had that period where we were like, oh, is it are we going to lose control of all that kind of thing? And we've suddenly got this big team working on everything for us. Like, but honestly. We work so collaboratively with them. We have complete creative control. If anything, they're making us more creative, to, like on our own, like inspiring us to just com- be confident enough to just go out and do it ourselves. And then I think when it comes to like you know decisions like that, it always just seems a bit like we, we get together the like marketing team and like our A and R and us and our management and whoever else wants to get involved. There's like thirty people sat around the room and we're just like, so what do we think? And it's definitely our opinion first. Yeah. And so you said like it's one of like a load of tracks you have as this kind of like a start of something new then, first track of a new album cycle sort of thing or debut album cycle. Um, I don't know if we're quite ready for an album. No? As much as I'd love to I think we say that we're ready, <laughs> I think we'll work towards something a bit smaller first. Yeah, so maybe like an EP sort of. Yeah. Yeah. What about all these other tracks though? These. Um, the ones you got stored up These are they magical just, gems that we're yeah. magical <laughs> gems what happens to them they just go unheard they're too good to be, to be <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. we've yeah, got to lock, lock them away in a vault somewhere so no one can ever you know, take them out at the right time well <laughs> leading on you've got the, the tour coming up in October is that kind of uh, a way to test out said material kind of playing it and seeing the reaction and then deciding well, it's, it's been quite a recent development for us I mean it's only been over this last this last year has been so crazy for us yeah. like we've done support tours and like our own shows and we're really like now starting to like see a genuine like not we're not not just someone else's following that you turn up and play in front of like our own fans which is kind of weird so like I think on like the October tour and the tour we did in May, May? Yeah. it was definitely like you definitely see an increase in that kind of, like they just want the songs they know more so I mean they like the new songs but it's not like they used to all be new songs you know I mean it's to, to everyone but now they want they want to sing back they want to sing alongs and the yeah and and how does your mindset to these sort of shows not just the, the, the UK tour but also like yeah the festival shows how does that differ to jumping on stage with George Ezra what kind of goes through your mind yeah. how <laughs> oh, I handle that right. it's, uh, it's, it's, it's really strange I think like Jim said earlier about the George Ezra thing about, about the kind of like weird lack of nerves like from getting up in front of that many people and doing it I think it's the only things that really differ like because we'll just get up and do our thing like we'll just try our best no matter where we're at like if it's in front of five people or 25,000 it's like there's no, they're not really like you know, I think the thing that we found probably is most weird is obviously because two of us speak and sing, it's kind of strange, like suddenly speaking to twenty five thousand, well, yeah, or or big huge crowds, comparatively to like then going back and doing like a hundred fifty cap room. You like, you know, you can see in a hundred fifty cap, you can see every yawn, every like, <laughs> if someone's coughing, checking the time on their phone, everything you can see, and it's way more nerve wracking. You get. Heckled by uh, like a hundred angry like yeah. du- Dubliners who are at eye level. Eye right. level with you, like well, with me, not with you, with me. I'm on the I'm on the stage. Fuck off stage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally, just give give us stick. But give me that show any day, of the week, yeah. like over yeah. huge crowds, because like it's yeah. so personal. And like I think the reason why we weren't nervous when we did those shows and when we've done bigger scale recently is that you just don't have that same like like connection. Because you're so disjointed from the crowd, yeah. there's this huge gap in between. Yeah. The gap in between is almost bigger than our crowds normally, like at a normal show. And so, like, you can't really like it's not like the same level interact. It's still super fun. It's, it's a crazy experience. Wicked. So, final music-related question. <laughs> uh, a fan, Kate, Katie Smith from Gloucester, got in touch on Instagram. She wants to know: Do you play weddings? Because she wants you to play her wedding. Do you get Do you get asked that a lot? Is that we played one wedding once. Yeah. So awkward, man. We played was one it? song. <laughs> what was it? It was a surprise right. performance. We okay. appeared from behind a curtain. <laughs> no, it was shocking. Uh, it was shocking. It was very bizarre. But it's nice to be asked if yeah. we're making people happy with our music. It's, it's the track Roads she wants to hear. This is the, what we did. Really? Yeah, it's a thing. That's yeah, our yeah. wedding song. <laughs> we can do it because we have done it before. 
but whether, whether or not we would now, I don't know. It's so available for wedding and events, yeah, these guys. Or bar, bar, bar mitzvahs, uh, <laughs> just DM us on Instagram and we'll just turn up and do anything. Like, we'll do anything. So. Brilliant. Yes. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. brilliant. Well, thank you very much for talking to us, lads. Really Cheers, appreciate it. All. New single, Play It Right, is out now. UK tour on sale as well for October and you'll be playing the main stage later? We are indeed yeah. at three o'clock, yeah. Wicked. Awesome. Enjoy your show. Thanks for Cheers. talking to us. Cheers. Thanks for